In this tutorial, we're going to be creating this halation glowing text reveal. Now, halation is a word that I've only learned today, so I guess instead of saying edge glow, I now know a fancier one. Anyways, let's get into it. So I've got my text there created here. The first thing I want to do here is go into my properties and select stroke and unselect fill. So we just have the stroke from this text. I will right click my text, create and create shapes from text. So we have the same text there, but created from shapes. And I'll go down into add here and select a trim path. Now we'll go here and I'm going to select these three stopwatches to make keyframes and I'll set the end here to zero. Now what I want to do here is go to maybe one second and I'll set my end to 15 and I'll go to the end of my composition here, change this from simultaneously to individually. Now by Increasing the offset, we're basically going through the text layer here. And I just wanted to reach the end here so we don't see the beginning again. So right about here should be fine. And I'll set my starting to 15 as well. So we basically created a stroke going over our text from start to finish. Now to make this look a bit nicer, we're going to be using a taper. Now each of these letters actually has a stroke which contains a taper. Now an easy way to go into the settings here is if we select the layer and type in start length and we can set them all to something like 20. So just going one by one here and then we'll do the same with the end. So I'll search for end length and the ending I'll actually set to something like 50 and make sure I don't miss any of these. Maybe extend it a bit here. If you do know a faster way to do this, let me know, but this is the one that I know about. So what we've done with these settings here is basically created the start and end a bit thinner, so it just looks a bit nicer when it animates in. Okay, let's go ahead and close this down, and we can start adding our main text. So we'll turn back on the text layer, and I'll switch it back to fill instead of stroke. And I'm going to add a simple opacity animator here, so under animate. I'll select opacity and set this to zero. Go into my range selector and set a keyframe for my starting. So right about here, I want it to be set to 100. I will select my keyframes, hit F9. And we've got this pretty cool effect, revealing the stroke first and then the main text layer. Now for the glowing effect, we're gonna be using deep glow. So I'll simply drop it onto my shape layer and under chromatic aberration here, I'll enable it. And you can play around with the different color settings here to receive all kinds of looks and maybe lower the amount to 0.15. So this is completely up to you. So this is how you can animate from start to finish on a text layer. But what if we want to do this coming from the center and going to left and right? So I'll duplicate my layers here just to demonstrate and I'll hide these. Let's start off with the shape layer and go back to the trim paths here. What I'm going to do is disable my offset and set two new keyframes for my starting and end. And I'll set them both to 50. Then I'll go to about three seconds here and I'll set my start to 100 and end to zero. It doesn't matter which one is first, it's basically going to do the same. So now it animates from the center outwards and let's say about here, I'm just going to keyframe basic opacity and set it to zero. Now, I figured it is important to include this in the tutorial. So if you wanted to fade out from the center and outwards as well, just like the beginning, it's going to get a little tricky, but I'm going to show you anyways. What I'm going to do here is set both of these to zero at the end here. And I'll delay these two keyframes by a few frames here. So we've just got it going on the left side. And then we'll have to duplicate it. And instead of going to zero, we'll change this to to 100. So now it goes from the center and also fades out from the center. And this is just in case you want to do this. There you go. Now for my text layer, I'm going to go back into the opacity animation. And we'll do the same thing here. So we'll set this to 50 and 50. Let's set two keyframes and right about here. We want to bring this to 100 and 0. Then we'll go to advanced and change the mode from add to subtract. So just like that, we've got the text animated from the center outwards. Now for the compositing part, I'm going to pre-compose everything. 
and add a simple noise set it to about 20 and this is optional but a pretty common effect is to use posturized time and set it to something like 16 gives it this nicer look when it's animating and yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one